Singles action. Oh, boy. It's Bray Wyatt versus Austin Aries. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following champion versus champion contest is a last man standing match. And it is for the WWE International Championship. I don't recall the last time I saw a challenger walk to the ring with so much confidence. Well, you can tell by the walk, the challenger is ready for this one. Weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Bray Wyatt. Introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 22 pounds, he is WWE International Champion Ari. Oh 
boy. Look at the goal. This should be an outstanding match. There's the bell, and here he is, the leader of the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt. There's no question that this one's going to be a struggle, an outright battle of wills. Here we go. But I know this, the, the fans of the, of the WWE, both here and at home, are all fired up for this one. Great offense by Austin Aries. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. Guys, let's briefly discuss the challenger. Do you really think he can unseat the champion here? It's going to take a lot to take down the champion, but if anybody can do it, I think this is the one. Well, we're talking about a challenger today, Cole, but I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we were looking at a champion by the end of the night. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. And there's the head scissors takedown, commonly known as the Hurricane Rana. Great move. It is a great move, and you're going old school when you refer to it as head scissors. Well, that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room. I kind of love it. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. Ow! Ooh. You know, when you look at Bray Wyatt, he may not resemble your traditional WWE superstar. But believe me, he can move in that ring. On top of his twisted mentality, Bray is strong as an ox and quick as a cat. Bray Wyatt will surprise you with his moves for someone who's six foot three and weighs 285 pounds. Looking good for the champ here. Here we go with the count. He's got 10 seconds to get back up to his feet. And now Bray Wyatt pushing forward. What makes Bray Wyatt so dangerous is that he actually has the athletic ability and physical strength to systematically dismantle someone exactly the way his ruthless mind tells him to. We talk about demented. More fun for us. <laughs> The challenger is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I tell you, we knew this was going. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two, three, four, five. Six. That's showing metal right there. We've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. He's starting to stir, Michael. But will he stir enough? Two. Three. I'm not sure if I've ever experienced an eerie silence that falls Five. over an entire arena like I do when Bray Wyatt announces Six. he's here. Even in darkness, you can see the whites of people's Seven. eyes and the audience fixated on Bray Wyatt and frightened beyond explanation at what he's going to do all his power to drive him to the mat. He's down, and now the official begins the count. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two, three, four, five, six. 
You know, I've been in a lot of arenas, and I've seen a lot of things, but I've never seen a capacity crowd stand with such a combination of fear and awe as when Bray Wyatt begins his ominous walk to the ring. Man, DDT'd right on his face. The back of that head is absorbing. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Somehow found a way off the mat. Oh, turns it around. I think you can tell by looking into the disturbing eyes of Bray Wyatt that he likes this. This boy's knowing that when he walks into an arena, people are frightened of him more with each horrifying step he takes. If that doesn't tell you what you need to know about Bray Wyatt, then I don't know what would. Well, Michael, I everywhere realize what Bray Wyatt can do, and they all share that fear. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two. Not over yet. That's a first. What a move. Definitely set to tone for the evening. I like it. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Man, he's got to dig down deep here if he hopes to make it back to his feet in time. demoralizing damage to Austin Aries. How can he take the upper hand here? Looks like he's going to test the effectiveness of that move. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. We will go on. The champ just one step quicker. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy. He's down. And now the official begins the count. Two. Both of these, he's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. Somehow found a way off the mat. One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is going to be bad. Looks like he's going to test the effectiveness of that move. Watch out! The brutality of this type of match is off the chart. I mean, you can't do a match like this and not despise each other on some emotional level. That's showing metal right there. When he gets going like this, there are... My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have been the blood of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Again, the championship title at stake in this contest. And again, we reiterate, the championship title is at stake in this contest. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Looks like he's going to test the effectiveness of that move. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Now well, the official's doing about the only thing he can in this match, and that's count to 10.
Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. He's in full-on attack mode now. And it's Bray Wyatt executing the reversal. Bray Wyatt is going in for the kill. Just a few more moments, and this is over. These competitors are absolutely destroying each other in an attempt to be the last man standing. Yeah, but it doesn't look like anybody's willing to stay down just yet. You really have to respect the resolve of these competitors, Cole. We will go on. That'll leave you gasping for air. And now he gets a bit of a reprieve as the official once more begins to count. Three. Four. Five. Six. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around seven, the monitors in the back to see which one of these guys comes out eight. victorious. ringing after that DDT. He's down, and now the official begins the count. Two, three, four, five. I can't believe everything that's transpired six, thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about seven, that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. Eight, and the beat goes on. And that one hurt his hand. The challenger in some big trouble here. It just doesn't seem to be his night tonight, guys. And let's not forget that he's gone to the finisher twice with Lim Now it's gut check time. This has been so Two. exhausting. Three. Four. Five. This is a grueling championship Six. match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Seven. You're right. A championship opportunity doesn't come Eight. around all that often. You got to make the best of it. He's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, that's when he's the most dangerous. What body? And it's Austin Aries. Three. Four. Five. Detroit has had the reputation for being an electric crowd. The fans Six. here in attendance tonight are indeed no different. Seven. Not over yet. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Bray Wyatt taking advantage. Oh, look at this. Bray Wyatt. Sister Abigail. This, but look at this. He may be out. I'm sure he can get back to his feet. Six. Seven. This is a grueling championship Eight. match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Right, a championship opportunity. Eight. We have the crack champion. champion unbelievable and on top of that there's a new champion in the wwe listen to this detroit crowd i think they're already ready for the rematch
Nia Jax. <laughs> Bailey. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. I'm looking for. It'll be Nia against Bailey. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. Exciting. Guarantee it. Detroit's rocking tonight, and I can't say that I blame them. This is going to be a phenomenal matchup. what's about to go down in that ring tonight. Show they've ever seen is a fact. It's Jax is always ready for a fight. Well, neither one of these has a lot of love for them. That's going to become clear right about now. We're in for a good one tonight. But you know what? Guys, no matter the format or competitors involved, you know we're in for a great one here. I'm not sure if her arm is going to be able to move and be set for going back to something that worked before. You're right. If it works for... I wonder what Bailey is thinking about at this point in the match. The reaction she got while walking to the ring was among the loudest I've heard in a long time. Leah Force, Michael, but you have to ring there with. Neither of these girls are pushovers, that's for sure. You know, whether they admit it or not, I think this is the type of admiration every competitor dreams of when they get into this business. She's executed. And there's the hurricane run. Things starting to go the other way for her. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. Even league matches, these two are. There's no way to predict what's going to happen. Man, this match could go either way, the way these women have been going at it. Wow, she's showing something different here tonight. was a costly misstep. Executed perfectly. Look at this. Nia Jax is letting everyone know exactly how she feels. And they Jack seems to have gained the upper hand for the moment. She's starting to feel it. Here's what we're going to see what she's made of. <laughs> Look at these divas go. Neither one of them are backing down. Yeah, but it's been a pretty even back and forth battle up until now. Really going to work here, just wrenching that thing. Bailey getting it done consistently here. Wait 
minute. If she escapes the hold. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a red play strike. Yeah, that hit right on the money. Great offense by Bailey. Hoping to end it early. Here's hoping. Two. And a kick out. And that's all the match continues. Decides to use that one. Hey! And here's a cover. And she raises her shoulder to interrupt the referee's count. She sure did. Man, she's making it look easy here. making her moves. We got a cover. Here's your winner, Bailey! Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. Few things are more rewarding than the feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And as we expected, WWE Extreme Rules has been a brutal evening. We have a great matchup coming up next. You said it. It's Team Goldust against Team Fandango. What a match this will be.
it is for the championship. Introducing the challengers. King somehow Goldust still manages to move in the ring like a kid in his 20s. I know. I never thought we'd still be seeing this level of athleticism from Goldust these years later. This match is going to be great. A big match for him here tonight. He's up for the challenge. Oh, will we crank it up? Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? He stand up and say, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this, or you can get with that. You better get with this, cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make him disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, uh, I'm being simple. Think of the times I'll be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show I bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This may be one of the biggest threats to the champion's reign. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we had a new champ when the final bell rang. Man, these Detroit fans have seen so much history over the years. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 452 pounds, Goldust and Arm True. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 456 pounds, they are the Fandango's favorite. It'll be a do. They'll are some of the best bouts in sports center. It's all about working with you. Can't let your e well. I don't know about you guys, but with it on the line, I'm gonna have a hard. It continues. Less as important as anything else. How can he do his part tonight in this one? I like the pairing, Michael. These two work so well together as a team. What I see here is well, he can turn that into a win for his team. Right to humility. That's right. That what. And testing Sir Isaac Newton's universal law of gravity with that move. When the theatrical music of Goldust hits and gold confetti falls from the heavens, Goldust enters the ring with the goals of driving his opponents crazy, having fun and winning matches. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. Whoa! And he fights his way out. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. The challenger is starting to falter. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. Yeah, well, at this point, he may want to think about finding a way to take a breather. You know, Cole, you mentioned the grand theater of Goldust coming to the ring and what happens during his matches. 
As I've said, you can't argue with Goldust's results, but after all this time, I don't think anyone can figure him out. Goldust might be the world's greatest unsolved mystery. Well, I've never seen him do that before. some good work here. Look at Tyler Breeze here. The champ's absorbing some offense here. He has an amazing opportunity here to cement his legacy as one of the greatest champions in recent memory. Very, very painful hold here. What's he going to do? Hey! And he fights out of it. That move should do it. I mean, this should have been over a while ago. Come on, ref. Yeah, this should be over. Our truth of the offense. feel the pressure a bit. His championship reign may very well be holding on by a thread. You said it, and he does not want to let his opponent gain some steam here and start to get the upper hand. Yeah, but this has been a pretty close battle up until now. Nobody has shown signs of running away with this match. Our truth may not always seem like he has all his faculties, but to me, that's all part of his plan. Ooh, that was stiff. Fandango gets tagged in. He's showing no signs of letting up. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. And now Tyler Breeze takes a moment to admire himself. Hey, how about taking somebody else's picture? The challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. But he's not appearing too worse for wear, at least not yet anyway. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. He's in full-on attack mode now. Expanding the repertoire with that move. The flowing blonde wig, bedazzled ring attire, gold and black face paint, and more provocative movements than his audiences all over the world have stood in awe of this master of the unusual. No one piques human curiosity like Goldust. Yeah, master of the unusual is right, Cole. Head of 24 karat pictures does everything he can imagine to make sure you will never forget a Shadow Dreams production. Now that's a finishing move. This thing might be all over. It's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. Take it from a king. They have to do a lot more than that for the honor of being called the champion. Oh, look at the emotion. We got a cover. Don't let his bedazzled attire fall. All types of ways to get the upper hand on an opponent. Goldust is as tough as nails, so creep into and completely take him off their game plan. Tyler Breeze in off the tag. Yeah. Oh man, and I can guarantee he'll think twice about doing that again. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Hey, this may very well be it. Thus far, this has been a phenomenal championship contest. Who will win? Who's going home with the title? Man, from the way things look right now, Cole, your guess is as good as mine. This has been so even, so back and forth. Who is going to win this thing? Oh, my gosh. Eric Rana tossing his opponent down.
Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Tag Team Championship at stake. Which team wants it more? Well, that's the question of the night. That's the question this match will answer, Michael. That's a first. What a move. Definitely set to look at the door here. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Yeah, but I think a little too early in this match for that to be successful. Well, it's gonna take more than that to keep him down tonight. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Uh-oh, look at this. he can take. God, there is nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. The champ suffered a brutal beating. Watch it! Here he goes for the win! Let's do this! Looks as though the champ has run out of gas. There may be no coming back from this. And by now, you would have expected one of these guys to take control of this match, but it really hasn't happened yet. Oh, we got a cover. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. When this guy's on, look out. A nice shot by Fondango. Ribs like quickly into the car with a title on the line. Here we go. Hondongo has been gassed open, folks. Woo, he'll twist and shout. Wow, he's still down after that. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Is it possible for Fondango to be any more dashing? Now he's just measuring him in there. Watch it! Fondango looking to end this one early. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. Our troop for the offense. Whoa. Will it be? physical condition I've ever seen him in. Not this. He's looking at it again. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. That's how you make an impact. Whoa! Don't get up. He's in full on attack mode now. I believe that is the first time tonight we've seen that move.
But the more energy he expends, the closer he is to being out. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hole. Ouch! You can hear that in different time zones. Reversal. It's not surprising that Fandango is his own biggest fan, but he's not going to stop until he's at the absolute top spot in this company. Truth looking incredibly inferior here. We may be looking at the beginning of the end here for the challenger. I expected a lot more from him here tonight. Oh man, he really needs to find a way to battle back from this. Otherwise, this one's over. Goldust comes in off the tag. A nice shot by Fandango. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. He's showing no signs of letting up. Team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for the win. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Two, three. We have new tag team champions. Team match, and this one was unfair. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Going to be good. It's Colin Cassidy against Big Show. I love a big fight feel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Queens, New York, weighing in at 276 pounds, Big Cass. You can feel the intensity level inside the arena rising. Colin, this one's going to be a real treat, Michael. And I know you feel the same way. Yep, so does King.
And his opponent, standing at seven feet tall, weighing in at 450 pounds, The Big Show. King, we've seen Big Show make us all laugh at various times in the past, but I get a feeling that tonight is not one of those times. No, Big Show means business tonight. Man, these Detroit fans have seen so much history over the years. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one. -on -one and oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. Wow! His skull just bounced off the mat. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. Let's talk about Big Cass for a moment. At this point, he may very well be one of the most popular superstars in all of WWE. They say you can't teach height, but you can teach fighting. And for what I've seen from Colin Casty in recent weeks, he's certainly been paying attention in that class. Oh, man. This guy's so popular, if he ran for president, he'd win in a landslide. Oh, boy. Then we'd be in some real trouble. Big Show shows us some clever offense here. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to see Colin Cassidy live and in person. He's like a tree with legs. He's got to be nearly <laughs> seven feet tall. Yeah, and you can't teach that, Cole. At least that's what Enzo Amore likes to say. Big Cass starting to stumble a bit here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. And it looks to me like neither of these guys are showing signs of pulling away here. Well, it's hard to argue that, but I'd say this one could go either way. Well, that's the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room. I kind of love it. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Aside from his overwhelming height, Colin Cassidy also brings a ton of street smarts with him to the ring, having grown up in one of Queens, New York's toughest sections. You know, Cole, you have a lot of street smarts. Sesame Street. Nice dodge there. What a shot. If you take many more like that, you're going to resemble a heavy bag. Street smarts and enormous size, huh? I think Colin Cassidy is going to do just fine here in the WWE. And that one hurt his hand. You're not going to win many matches out there. Hmm. Since it's not a false count anywhere match, I'd have to agree with you. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? to worry about internal injuries. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Camel clutch applied. And man, is he pulling back on that neck. He's in perfect position. Complete control. Ah! And he escapes the hole. 
submission and highly effective strike. What placement. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Colin Cassidy is making his presence known. Uh, Colin Cassidy is building some well-deserved momentum right now. Absorbing a little bit of punishment here. Nothing to be overly concerned about, though. That's a first. What a move. Definitely sets a tone for the evening. I like it. Wow. He's still down after that. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. It's starting to look bleak for him now. It just doesn't seem to be his night tonight, guys. From where I sit, they both appear to be competing with the same amount of energy. This one can really go either way. Oh, man. This guy doesn't know that matches are won. My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here Six. as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to... Oh, my God, he's gasping for breath in a giant bear hug. I'm gasping for breath watching it. Hey! And he fights out of it. He breaks the hold. Nine. Back in the ring again. Big Show do now to get the ball rolling again. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Wow, these guys aren't giving an inch, but at some point, one of them got to start pulling away, which is what we might be seeing right now. It's amazing how much perseverance we've seen up to this point, Cole, and we're not even close to being over here yet. No, not even close. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Colin Cassidy has taken control again. Just how much more punishment can the world's largest athlete endure? King, he could very well be injured here. Yeah, honestly, I don't... And this has got to be it. It's it. It's over. Two, three. I don't believe it. This one's over. Here's your winner. Up next, we have singles action. Oh, this should be great. It'll be Emma versus Paige. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making your way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia. Emma! Plenty of Emma fans in attendance for this one. These two have been waiting for this one for quite some time, and to be honest, so have I. As we get ready for singles action, I'd like to remind everyone you can see matches like this and more on the WWE Network. Thank you for spending part of your evening with us. We think you're really going to enjoy this upcoming match. And the two-time Divas champion, Paige, hears the bell and is on the move. Yeah, and social media has been on fire ahead of this one. But now it's time to get down to business. And the party has officially begun. But here's the thing, you have to perform if you want to bask in that WWE glory. And there's an elbow drop. Talk a little about Emma. Despite how this crowd feels about her, she looks extremely confident heading into this match here tonight. Emma has looked more focused than ever in recent weeks. If I was her opponent tonight, I wouldn't be taking her lightly at all. It's simple, Michael. This business is about wins and losses. Whether or not a competitor is cheered really shouldn't make a difference. Just a little too slow there. Nicely done. to get on a roll. Oh, this could be exciting. Paige stumbling some now, but she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. Let me interject this. When you have two divas as evenly matched as these two are, there's no way to predict what's going to happen. Well, I can't argue one of these women has really taken control of this match. Look at Paige here. She's going after the face now. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. Things starting to go the other way for her. She doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball. Let me just say that if she can't absorb this, start thinking about a career change. Man, this match could go either way, the way these women have been going at it. Well, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just 
just a bit off the mark with that one. Dodges to the side of that one. No, oh, cut off at the last second. for everything, I guess. Wow, I didn't know she had that move in her repertoire. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. It's the way I always used to do it. Hey, Paige finds a way out. She's starting to stammer here. Momentum clearly not on her side right now, fellas. After witnessing this, I don't think I like her chances very much anymore. I really like the level of aggression that we've seen from her so far here tonight. But she's going to need to maintain it if she wants this victory. Whoa, take a look at that. We haven't seen that one tonight. I love something new. First time we've seen that move tonight from either line. He's going for the cover. Oh, she's still in it. I mean, come on. How is she still going here? We're looking at complete domination here. Concentrating on the face now. Here we go again. That's okay. Who doesn't like seeing things over and over and over? Oh, Michael, look at this move. What's she going for here? I don't know how much more of this kind of damage she can take. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like experiments. And she fights her way out. Things have gotten worse for Emma. She could be out of this competition. This is not at all where she wants to be. One, two, three. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Here's your winner. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. The people still use marbles. We have Charlotte versus Sasha Banks. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Women's Championship. Well, this is undoubtedly a career-defining moment for the challenger. I don't see any signs of apprehension or intimidation from the challenger here. And introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. Here we go, singles action on the way. I've been waiting for this to get started. Here we go. Looking motivated to make an impact here tonight. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. I am so glad we're here to see this championship match. This is gonna be good. Both these superstars are primed and ready to roll. But hey, I have a feeling the WWE Universe is in for a treat tonight. A win for Shaishin of a long journey to the top. What does she need to do to win this thing? The Jim Fightum champion. Ever have your name in the ring. Monumental. Trophy case is the goal of every superstar and diva. I hope she's right down the neck. She seems intent on injuring that back. She wants this win bad. What a vile and vicious chokehold. Hey! And she wills her way out. Oh. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. No kidding, this is getting ugly. showing something different here tonight. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. The challenger's taking on some offense. There's so much on the line for her here tonight. Well, I don't know if these Divas could be any more evenly matched than they are. What a match. Yeah. Whoa! Hey! Looks like she wants to go home early. 
meets. This one's far from over. Oh, you're right about that. A lot of power left in this superstar. The champ's starting to sweat, but she has the fight of a champion in her, which will certainly help her down the stretch. <laughs> Look at these divas go. Neither one of them are backing down. Agreed. And these women have been pretty evenly matched. Up. She's looking at it early. Could do it. Well, we have a new... No, no, the champion kicks out before the three count. Huge headlock. And now what? This is such a painful hold. Now momentum is in the corner of Charlotte. Hey! And she wills her way out. That's a first. What a move. Definitely sets a tone for the evening. I like it. Oh, man! Charlotte into the cover. And the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Whoa. Oh, that sledgehammer landing again. Here's a cover. And the shoulder gets up in time. I'm not sure, King. There doesn't seem to be any slowing her down now. And we're back to this form of attack. Yes, we are. The same form of attack we've seen before. Look out, Charlotte is measuring. She's hard time getting back to her feet. Oh, look at Charlotte. Oh, she is so impressive. What's she gonna do here? Champion. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Braun Strowman! Coming right up is the type of where the best offense is a good defense. It'll be Sheamus against Braun Strowman. Oh, man. I can these two go at it. The following contest is a tables match. The only way to win a table. And it is for the United States Championship. Tables match. Our announcement.
conference table, that is. Gonna need a cool. And we've got a for two. The only question, which one of these superstars is going through it? Well, anytime tables are involved, things have a tendency to get a little tricky. Come on, oh, one fall will decide it. And no matter what, these are right about in the W repertoire with that move. Not be big enough for what's about to unfold. I'd be big enough. And what if it be a challenger? In that he actually believes he's champ to show the rest. I think this is one of those matchups that could be one of the greats. Sheamus is a superstar who's broken a lot of barriers and a lot of skulls. One barrier he's proudest to break is being the first Irish-born champion in WWE history. Well, that's right, Cole. The Celtic warrior came straight from the old country, holding a big old four-leaf clover. But there was no luck involved. It was pure guts. He took the championship off none other than John Cena at tables, ladders, and chairs in his rookie year in 2009. Now, that was as quick a climb to the top of WWE as you're going to see. Oh, check that out. We have a first here this evening. And that was awesome. As prestigious and groundbreaking as that first WWE Championship may have been for Sheamus, his 2012 was no less of an achievement. It came on the grandest stage of them all at WrestleMania against Daniel Bryan. If Sheamus' first title gave him a place on the map, that second one code. He's taking a lot of punishment. If it continues, it could eventually affect his vision. Yeah, already seeing stars. He's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. Uh, to ship WrestleMania 28. What made that win over Daniel Bryan even more momentous was the Warrior did it in an unbelievable 18 seconds. I mean, Sheamus won the title in less time than it takes you, Cole, to put on your socks in the morning. Though this guy has plenty of this point, it looks this match is as even as it could get. Well said, John, and now this match. Next with that move. I don't remember the last time he executed. No one is locked up. Just making his present. Is slowly getting dissected. He eats the camp. Oh, expect Michael. For too long. you ever see one and one broke that's what it's like being searched to describe what we I don't like how slow he is to react I'll oh, check that out we have a first it's awesome you mentioned the intensity of Sheamus and King we've seen firsthand the is in this WWE star. Sheamus' smash mouth style has made him one of the most respected WWE superstars today, and everyone knows the bro kick is never far away. Well, Michael, Sheamus loves a good fight. Mix it up with anybody he feels deserves to get the clock clean. But either if someone wants to test it, always ready for combat.
If an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move, some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible. Why not? If it's working, don't change it. Getting back into the round. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that. You got to remember what works. Oh, this isn't good. New champion. We just witnessed what many felt was impossible. Here's your winner and the new United States champion, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. New champion, I don't believe it. And neither does the former champ that appears to be stunned and astonished. Look at the look on it. Kenny Omega! Hideo Atami! Singles action is up next. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Nor my commentary. We have a real fan favorite against Tadeo Atami. I'm gonna tell you something. This should be a classic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. We are just moments out from the start of this WWE singles matchup. Come on, I'm getting anxious. Let's get it going. Oh, this one's going to be a hard-hitting affair, just the way I like it.
Introducing the challenger from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 204 pounds, Kenny Omega. Introducing the champion from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 180 pounds, he is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Hideo Atami. After weeks of talking about it, we are finally here to put an end to the dispute of who is better. This is it, the moment we've been waiting for. The time for talking is behind us. Now these two superstars will test one another's abilities and will like never before. This is about being the best. Yeah, this is a marquee match with a lot of pride and professional reputation all on the line. It's go time, people. Regardless, the engine from these Motor City fans is revving high, about to redline it for this one. Let's talk about the challenger briefly. Well, it's never easy to take down a champ. What kind of attack should he mount? Talk about rising to the occasion. I tell you, the champ is going to have to be on point here tonight. He's come a long way, and he stands on fate's doorstep, hoping he can walk through the door. We'll see if he can get it done here tonight. A legend in his pan, Hideo Itami brings to the States more than a decade and a half of in-ring experience. Yeah, and it was in Japan where Hideo Itami developed that sneaky, hard-hitting style of his. You really wouldn't expect somebody of his size to pack such a punch. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. That hard-hitting style we talked about earlier definitely comes from Hideo Itami's years spent training in the no-nonsense Japanese dojos. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Yeah, I wonder what the view's like from up there. Things not looking good for Hideo Itami. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. I tell you, we knew this was going to be a close affair, but I don't think we expected it to be this tight. What a match. I couldn't have said it better myself, which is a little scary considering it came from your mouth, JBL. Cole, you know, I've been to Japan, and you're exactly right. Those dojos are no nonsense. The challenger's taking on some offense. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Come on, if he can't withstand this, he's in the wrong profession. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. And he dodges that one. He saw that one coming. Hurt. With a move like that, your career could be over just like that. No kidding. This is serious. Here's a cover. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. You're right. He kicked out with ease. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. He's just playing classic offense here. Yeah, and that's when he's the most dangerous. 
And there's some more emotion on display. Displaying a wide range of offense here. Today, with Tommy is being shown the ropes here tonight, folks. What can he do to get out of this? It appears his opponent has his number right now. Well, this might finally be where one of these guys starts to pull away. <laughs> well, I think pride is a big factor in this one, Cole. It always is. I think there's still a lot more to come in this match, and no one is out of it yet. No one. Interesting move here, taking the match to the outside. Interesting and dangerous. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. never seen him do that before. Well, we're on the move here. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Four. He's showing no signs of letting up. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Hmm. Hideo Itami is really going to town right now. A bad place to be for the challenger. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. Wow, these guys aren't giving an inch, but at some point, one of them got to start pulling away, which is what we might be seeing right now. Given the amount of disrespect being shown throughout this entire match, it's no wonder the crowd is acting the way it is. It appears that part of the game plan heading into this match was to attack the back. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. goes down. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Hideo Itami looking to go skyborne. He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, Ooh. man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know if that's my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. He's not too keen on sharing the ring with his opponent. The back is the largest area on the human body, and thus always a target. I know what you mean. You know I've got a weak back. How long did you have that? Well, about a week back. Will he be victorious? I think this is it. One, two. We got to cover. Now, why did he do that? A move like that's low. It's appalling, if you ask me. Totally disrespectful. Well, when he sees the belt, he likes to hit below it. Detroit has had the reputation for being an electric crowd. The fans here in attendance tonight are indeed no different. <laughs> Challenger's championship dreams are fading quickly. The champ might just have nothing left in his tank. Here's the cover for the win. Two, three. He got the job done. This one's over.
The Phenomenal AJ Styles. Brock Lesnar. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Going to be good. The AJ Styles is Brock Lesnar. This match is going to blow the roof off this place. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Universal Championship. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Let's see if our challenger can capitalize. Don't be surprised if your jaw hits the floor at any point during this one. These competitors are absolutely unbelievable. Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Introducing the champ from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in. 
in at 286 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Brock Lesnar! Now we are seconds away from the start of this title match. There's the bell, and here we go. We're all along for the ride on this one, but make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. And Michael, with the championship on the line, you know these guys are gonna do whatever it takes to leave here with it. I can't pay for this. Me either. But hey, by the sounds of it, this crowd is ready for anything that happens tonight. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has in mind here. Uh-oh, I don't wanna see it then. Let's touch on Brock Lesnar a bit. The champ has been here before. What do you expect from him in his title defense? It can be lonely at the top. Everybody in that locker room is gunning for you, and he don't know who you can trust. You know, when you say that name, the first word that comes to mind is champion. Talk about somebody who epitomizes what it means to be the absolute best. That's a first. What a move. Definitely sets a tone for the evening. I like it. A textbook maneuver there. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. It's pretty obvious just from looking at him that Brock Lesnar is one of the most finely conditioned athletes in WWE, probably ever. Yeah, he looks like he's been cut from stone, Michael, doesn't he? I mean, six foot three, almost 300 pounds of pure muscle. And it's no illusion. He's really using his weight to his advantage here, reaching on the head and neck. Brock Lesnar has done it.